Hi, my name is Scott with Spiker Spreaders, and today we're going to be talking about the Spiker dial. So what the dial does is precisely control the amount the gate inside the hopper opens. Um, the gate opening of the hopper will uh, set your application rate, that is the pounds of material you spread per acre or per, per thousand square feet. You can use the Spiker dial to control that opening. The dial has 95 unique positions and uh, there's a very tactile response when you change these positions. You can probably hear the clicking sound. If you look, you can see there's a very small distance between these teeth on the back of the dial. That, again, directly corresponds to the precision to which you could control the gate opening. So depending on the spreader, um, that precision can be as tight as nine thousandths of an inch. So for like the Ergo Pro spreaders, every click on this dial corresponds to a nine thousandths of an inch difference in the gate opening. So what this means for you is a very precise application rate for the spreader. So to determine what setting to turn your dial to, uh, there's a couple places you can look. First place is you should check the back of the bag of material you're spreading, whether it's seed or fertilizer. Um, you may see a spiker number published. That'll be the number that you'll want to set this to. It'll be a, num it'll be a uh, number, dot number, so 3.2, 6.7. And then, you know, in the case of that, you would go like to, in the case of 5.5, you would go to five and you'd click over five more times to get 5.5. Accurate gate control goes back with the Spiker Company over 100 years to when it was known as the Cyclone Company. Um, Cyclone Seed Spreading Company was founded in Urbana, Indiana over 100 years ago. And we see here one of the examples of the earliest gate control mechanisms on a spreader. So when using the Spiker Spreader, look for either the Spiker number or the Cyclone number on the bag of your material to determine what position to set the dial to to get the desired application rate. If the bag of material you have does not have a number on it, you can check the Spiker manual that would have came with your spreader. In the back of the manual is a very large table with all the all the settings that we have pre-calibrated for our spreaders. Um, so depending on what application rate you want to achieve and the material you're spreading, uh, the number, there may be the spiker number in there. And lastly, what we've just recently launched is the Spiker Online Calibration Calculator. If you look at this spreader here to my right, there is a QR code on the back. If you scan this QR code with your mobile device, um, it'll take you to our website where we have the online calibration calculator. So as long as you know what type of material you're spreading and what application rate you wish to achieve in e either um, pounds of material per acre or pounds of material per thousand square feet, if you have those two numbers, you plug them in, it'll tell you what to set your spreader to. So if you have any other questions about the Spiker dial, please contact your customer service. And if you like this video, if you learned something, please subscribe to the Spiker channel and smash that like button. Thanks.